welcome back to my channel my name is Mary in today's tutorial it's gonna be a changing of background in Photoshop we're going to give this image here another background we're gonna be using some simple tools here in Photoshop to achieve this today okay so let's go so yeah we have our image here we we'll have to select this image and remove the background we have various selection method here in Photoshop that you can use but today I'll be using the quick selection tool to select this image out of the background or the old picture okay so I'll go ahead and use click on the quick selection tool here and then I would go ahead to zoom this image okay so that I can see what I'm doing clearly and you too all right so yeah I'll just go ahead and click on the plus brush here we have the minus and we have the plus so we'll be using the plus first so using the quick selection tool yeah we just select the image here out of the background okay and you see that there are some places here that was not selected so we're going to fix that you click on the shift on your keyboard and if you want to reduce or you want to take out of the selection you can always change your selection here up here minus or you can also hold alt or option on your keyboard to take away from the selection sorry about that i'll just zoom that back here so now i would want to take out some parts here from my selection like this part here between the legs i don't want that so i'll click on alt or option to select that select that part so it's not going to be there at all so i'll just take the path that i want holding my alt or option on the keyboard i'll just try to take away some unwanted parts that i feel should not be there and as you see this place here it's supposed to be there but it's not there so i just hold on my shift on the keyboard there and just add to my selection easily there any parts I feel I want to show there and you see it's just moving around I'll just take that out as well okay okay so I think yeah I just gonna I just want to add little to the boots here so it's gonna look um so so realistic so I'll go ahead and check this out here we have to put this in holding the shift on the keyboard and just dragging that it's gonna add to your selection then we'll go ahead and check this side here at the end of the day if we don't take this out it's not going to look so real so what we're going to do is we want to remove some parts here within the alt or option key we just uh, that's too much I'll just reduce my brush size here so it's gonna be very very tiny and then I'll just take some part out that I feel should not be there okay then I'll go ahead and go to the cap here the add I'll then add to my selection since it wasn't selected properly and take out as I see it fits here as well i want to take out the balcony here i don't need that in my image so i'll go ahead and take that out since i don't need that holding that alt or option key okay i'll do the same for this area here i don't need the balcony so i'll get rid of that and yeah as well I think we've done a pretty good job just some finishing touches here 
to make sure everything looks perfect. I think this looks good. I want to take her out from here again. So I think here yeah, now we have a good um, selection here. I think we've selected everything that we need to select here for the image. And then we we'll make sure we use the select our mask. So I'll just go ahead and click select and mask. So now that we click on the select and mask, um, I think um, just using the refine edge to refine edge brush here, just to some parts here. If you think you just need to refine the edges a bit, and that's that's good. So I'll go ahead and go down to output tool, and I'll just click on new layer. Okay. So I'll just click on new layer and uh, I can change the background as well if I want it to be this way or this one, this one, this one or white, any one you prefer. I'll just use the onion skin. No, I'll use the onion skin here. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and select new layer. And click OK. So now this is on the new layer, right? So if I switch this back on, and we just play around here because we have two of these. So assuming you want to create like a, a clone of yourself, you can always use this method as well. So let's just have some fun and play around with this. I'll transform this and just put it around somewhere. Okay, so clicking on that copy, I'll click on Command T for transform, and then we we'll reduce this one, and let's see if this is going to make any sense. Hmm. I think this is looking good. Just make it here. This doesn't look bad. Oh, this is awesome! But this is not what we want to do here today. <laughs> I'm not making clone today. We are actually changing the background. So let's get back to business. Okay. All right. So we have a selection here. We've removed the background. And here we have the background that we want to put this image to. So I'll go ahead. I can drag from this place. I can drag it into the background. Or I can drag it from here. Any one you prefer so I'll just drag it from here into the background and drop it quite easily done then I'll go ahead and transform this let's scale it down so it's going to fit in our background and since it's actually um, has the same color and feel I don't really need to make um, much adjustments to the image like color exposure brightness or contrast i think this perfectly fits well inside this background and i can just place it anywhere i want place it anywhere i like here so i think this place is good so i'll just place it here okay, i would like to flip it so the image is going to be facing the left hand side I'll go ahead and click on transform, command T, then I'll go to edit and click transform and I'll flip horizontally and it's going to change where the image is facing. So this looks kind of perfect. No much editing done, no much to edit here. I think this this looks good you can use this method to do simple and quick background change if you have just um, images that look alike but for com more complex images or more complex photos you have to do extra work you have to put in more effort and use more different tools like spot healing or clone stamp but in this uh, picture i have here i don't need to do much work 
the both pictures they fit in perfectly well but if i want to like make the image here yeah, to fit in properly i can as well maybe reduce the brightness so i can use the levels layer and um, you can see here yeah, if i adjust anything here yeah, it's going to affect the whole picture so i'll just clip this levels layer to the baby picture let me name this baby okay so i'll just double click and rename this layer baby okay so i'll just go ahead and clip the levels layer to the baby i'll just right click and i'll click on create clipping mask so any adjustments i make here is only going to affect the baby layer it's not going to affect the whole image so i can go ahead now and do any adjustment that i like just to make sure the image blends in properly so i'll just reduce the brightness a bit just a little bit so i think this this looks better okay so and that is all we've been able to successfully change the background of this image so if we go back to what we have before this is what we have before and now this is what we have quite easily done so you can use this method it's quite straightforward and easy and hopefully you'll be able to do that as well on your own pictures you can use it on any picture you have okay and um thank you so much for watching if you have any questions you can kindly put it in the comment below and i'll be there to answer you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed it and if you subscribe don't forget to hit the bell button i'll be posting videos every week i do appreciate your support and hope to see you next time bye for now and have a blessed day